Today we're going to take this signature and add it into Photoshop and I'm going to show you the best method that I know on how to make this look natural. Uh, first thing you got to do is get your piece of paper, take a picture of your signature and upload it to the computer. Now that you have your image opened up in Photoshop, the process of removing the background and only keeping the signature is pretty simple. We're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to add a layer by holding control and then clicking the plus layer. And this adds a layer underneath our current layer. I'm going to set this layer to black. All right, because we only want to keep the black parts here. So we want to be able to see all of the white that we remove. We can also adjust this layer slightly. So I'm going to do some levels. Maybe not that I'll go like that should be fine. All right. So now what we're going to do is remove the lighter parts of this layer. So if you see right here, it says this layer on these sliders, you can adjust by removing only the dark spots or removing the light spots. Now, as you can see, the light spots are the paper. The signature is the black ink. So we want to keep all the black ink as much as we can. So right around here, that's starting to look good. And we're going to hold our alt key. We're going to click on the left side of this little drag or a little arrow and then drag that to the side slightly, not too much. And then we'll hit OK and we're going to check out how this looks. Uh, before we finalize anything, I want to keep a copy of this layer. Uh, so I'm going to hit control J to duplicate it. I'm going to rename this to safe copy just in case I need to go back and make any adjustments uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to remove the ability to go back and fix this by adding all the con the uh, information back into the image. We're going to remove that ability by kind of flattening it. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Hold control, click the add new layer button and it adds the layer below. Now we're going to merge the layers down. So now this is a single layer. If we switch that to a white background, we can see there's our signature. But the problem is that, um, that this isn't exactly all black. We have little bits of yellow in here and we don't want that. We want it to look all black, all natural. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, one way is to you know, make this layer only black. The other way is to make it black, but also have some gray in it. So I'm going to show you both method methods. Um, on the keeping this layer active, we're going to go down here to our layer um, effect layers. And we're going to add a solid color layer, which is going to be black. And we're going to hold our alt key and create a clipping mask. So if you see, I'm hovering between these two layers. That's a clipping mask that right there. All you do is click and this layer is suddenly only going to affect this layer. So now everything that is black or everything that is on this layer is now black. And that looks really good. That's you're pretty much done. You can um, remove this, remove the background and then save that you have your signature. But if you want it to look a little bit more realistic, we, we can play with this instead of having a solid black color, we're going to do a gradient. So we're going to do a gradient. Um, where is a gradient map? A gradient map. But our white isn't going to be white. It's going to be dark gray. There we go. That's right. Then we're going to do the same thing we did before with the gradient or with the clipping mask. And let's see if we can create um, two samples of this so I can show you right here. So very similar, but if we switch this to black, we can still kind of see this one because we have dark gray. And on this one, you can't see it at all because it is completely black. Um, so it depends on what you want. Do you want it to look a little bit more natural? Uh, in that case, I would say use the gray. Uh, we can even lighten this to make it less black and less dark. So we can come back into the, this layer. I'm going to change this black to like a dark gray. 
and then this one to a light gray. And there you go. And it looks a little bit more natural. Um, but of course, switch this and now we can see our signature is kind of like a light gray. That's all we're gonna see. Switch that again, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? So we got our original with a signature right there and then we have our extracted signatures. So depending on whichever one you like, go ahead and use it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.